Hello everyone. Welcome back to our journey renovating our old cottage. This week we are modernising the back pergola. Albie is working on the bathroom and we had some unique visitors. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. It's uh, nice and warm up here today at Pinery, so I'm taking a break from pointing because it's probably too hot to do any pointing today. So my job today is to get this pergola painted. I've gone and got some paint, so I'll be painting all the timbers on this pergola so we can get that done so then we can put the paving down. So I'm on the paintbrush today. I'll get the painting done on this and then I've got a little bit of cutting in to do in the green room and they'll be finished as well. So, time to get to it and get this painted. Nice black to match the trim. Maybe I might sneak out and paint the front door at the same time while Albie's not looking. It's grey. Yeah, I know. It needs stirring. Where could I stir it already? What with? The it's not the right fucking colour. Will it do? No. You want to get black? Well, you want black, don't you? Oh, it's done, it, but. What's it got written on it? Monument. It's obviously, monument's not a true black. I could probably take it back and get him to tint it up to black. I'll do that. So I've been on a little adventure for the past two hours because I may have got the wrong colour paint so trip back to Bunnings and back again two hours later. In the meantime, Albie's been painting the bathroom and the laundry and himself. So he's halfway through that and now I'm about to start painting the pergola at two o'clock in the afternoon. Unfortunately, these things happen. Are you honestly going to trust that lid for me? Because I can see all the paint finishing up on the floor as the lid comes off. I'll be taping it on there. Awesome. So you think that I should... Uh... It's not trusty. No. I've seen it and I thought, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, but it's not going to anything to clip it on. Yeah, maybe. Right, so you reckon I should... Cut them tags off. Why? So you can get the tape to go around it better. Yeah. That's the lid thing, that has yeah, to come no, off in here. Yeah, no. Right. I'll cut the tags off. Stick it on. I got this lid for the paint tin because we always dribble paint down the side. But Albie doesn't believe that it's going to stay on the tin. So he wants me to tape it on because he believes that I'm going to tip paint all over the floor. So we'll tape it on and, then and that's hopefully it works. three hours down the drain because I just it's spent two hours, hours going, going to the paint. Bunnings and back. Because I got the wrong colour. So I'll probably tape it on because if I don't, I'll never hear the end of it. Well, we painted all day, covered in paint. I think I painted more of me than the pergola. Albie came and helped me get it done. We've pretty much got the first coat on, a few little touch-ups. So we're calling it a night. We'll be back in the morning to put a second coat on and the pergola will be painted ready for papers to go down. As we were leaving for the weekend, we spotted these people rolling into town. 
They have the most fantastic story. They have their draft horse, so they built this wagon so they can adventure for a few weeks every year, moving from small town to small town and camping along the roadside as they go. They had been on the road for a few weeks and were on the return leg when we caught up with them. They were at the local hall getting water, so we stopped for a chat. As anyone who knows me knows that's what I like to do. Um, we left about a week ago from Nichanunda. Oh wow! Yeah, and we've just been up um, Ballock Way. Right, now you're heading back towards Nunda. Yeah, we're heading home. Yeah, we'll be home by the weekend. That is so awesome. But uh, we, um, Kelvin showed us how to get some water here the other day, because he'll, he'll drink, like Jacob, he'll drink 60, waters, uh, 60 litres tonight. Yeah, yep. Jesus. So, uh, like a car. It's definitely the way to travel. Oh, it's been great. Do you do it often? At uh, this time of year, yeah. We, we like to go for a few weeks at a time. That is just. Feed on the side of the road. Yeah. Um, which is really cool. It's all starting to dry off now. We'll, um, we'll head out there. Is this Crown Land here? Absolutely that awesome. Is, um, fiberglass foam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite finished, but finished enough. You've got the life, buddy. <laughs> His name is Buddy too. Oh, is it? <laughs> he has the life. <laughs> He'll liven up now, he's been asleep all day. They were looking for a place to camp for the night, so we invited them to make themselves at home for the night at the cottage. It had been a stinker of a day, so they were very grateful to be able to stop and relax for the night. Still. Right. You're not Daniel. Right. Is that how Daniel would do it? No. Daniel would fucking knock it down and start again. No, he wouldn't. Daniel would. Gonna be like, you've done a fine job, pal. Good work, Alpi. Be encouraging you. So we're under the bathroom, are we? Yeah, the laundry's you scraped up on it. You've scraped up the laundry, doing the bathroom, and then painting in here. I'm going to send it back. Then paint it, yeah. That's all these tries. So then once this is done and we do the hallway, we can call the back half of the house done. So that's our focus now for the next couple of weeks to finish off the back half of the house, yeah? Yep. Work our way forward. See, I'm doing this because I'm so fucking fussy that if you look at this wall, it looks like I've done it on a weekend bender. So I'm just giving a skin of shitty ass plaster and then when it dries I go sand the whole wall back and then the coat it and paint it.
Well, until now, I'm going to rip that off later when Alison is in here, don't you? Shit, that's fucking job. Just touching up the last bits that we didn't get to last weekend. Um, taping over the top of all of these beams so that I don't paint the seal, the roof, the roof, and then going around all these fiddly bits. As soon as I've done that, then I'll put another full coat on and the pergola will be painted. Lawnmower's not liking pine, it's the third time it's fucked me around out here now. Fucking lucky I'm not a mechanic. Actually, must have been hanging it too hard to the um, to the right, and because the battery clamp, the battery doesn't have a clamp on it, it slid across and broke the wire. So is that an operator error or the mechanic who didn't do proper maintenance on it? Um, there is no mechanic that does proper maintenance on it. But you're the mechanic, so you should have fixed it. Where's the battery clamp? You've owned it since day one. Where's the battery clamp? You're supposed to pick that up when you service my vehicle. I've just had bits of wooden rock stand in there. They've obviously fallen there. Typical mechanic. But it's all good, and I'm not a mechanic. All right, everyone out there, I'm not a mechanic's arsehole. He's a licensed mechanic, and... No. All of our stuff gets serviced last. So you know he's a mechanic because none of our stuff gets done. I'm like a shoe, a shoe repairer, you know? Your kids walk around bare feet. 100%. Yep. All of our stuff goes to the back of the line every time. So that red wire killed the solenoid for the fuel to get to the carpet. But it seems funny how it was running fine until I actually turned it off to have a drink and a piss. <laughs> so somehow the car, the lawnmower has gone and fucked itself. You can't use that word. What? That's it not fucked. a technical term. It has. It's gone and broken itself. <laughs> no. Yeah. Everyone would go. How does Alison not drink when she has to put up with that? I think they just think that you're in behind the doors drinking. <laughs> they probably would because I put up with you. Think you're the aggressive one. <laughs> no, <you know? laughs> they probably just think that because I put up with you. They'd say me like, "How does this woman not drink?" And we've finished the pergola. It's all painted. Just got to take the masking tape off once it's completely dry, and we're good to go to start doing all the paving underneath, so I think it actually turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching this week guys, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. See yous!